Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. I'm up at our drought tolerant garden. This is our Senecio vitalis, our narrow leaf chopsticks. And I want to show you something that's really cool. So here, this is the mother plant and to propagate, it'll send out its own little stems here, like this one here, to create a whole new plant like this. And this will root and be just like the mother. But sometimes you get a mutation called cresting. So instead of producing more branches or stems, it'll send out this stem here, which is very flat. See that, how it's all flat here, like that. And then it'll get rooted and new growth will come out in this vertical surface here. And on top of this flat vertical surface, you'll get new leaves that grow really compact along the top of the ridge. And the new leaves, they tend to grow upwards and away from the light instead of towards the light. And this gives us a totally new plant. It's not its own specific species. It's just a crested version of Senecio vitalis. And this new plant is called a mermaid tail succulent. I got another one over here as well. A little dirtier, but it's kind of a lot bigger. See how flat this is all the way across? And you've got the leaves on top. And this mutation occurs naturally in all of our succulents, but you can't really force a succulent to crest on its own. And there's no guarantees your own plant will even mutate. And so this is kind of a real treat for us. In our new mermaid tails plant here, it can grow up to two feet high and five feet wide. And the leaves, they'll always keep this narrow leaf chalk stick look, but they'll be a little more wavy as they grow out of the uh, fan shaped base. So the leaves, they're gonna be green or bluish in color. They can become light green with purple tips if you happily stress them out as this plant matures. And um, you see at the base here, you get these little bumps. They're like cactus bumps, but they're not spiked. I'll show you another one here. It's coming in. For some reason, we have a, a lot of these mutations. All right. So this one here, see how wide this is here? So this will settle to the ground like this and then grow up as its own mutation or mermaid tail. And caring for our mermaid tail is the same as caring for the mother Senecio. They like full sun, well-drained soil. They're highly susceptible to root rot or fungus infections. Make sure you don't overwater it and don't leave the leaves or the plant in standing water. So it's best to use like a soak and dry method for watering these guys. It's uh, not very cold hardy, but we'll do okay with temperatures down to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And like its parent, this is a winter grower So it'll be dormant in the summertime. All right. Now you can try to propagate this plant with cuttings, but there's no guarantees. It'll look like the uh, mutated version. You just cut off some of the leaves, let them callus for a few days, replant them in fresh draining soil, and don't water for a few days, and let it adjust to its new home. But there you go. This is our beautiful and quite rare crested Senecio vitalis, our mermaid tail succulent. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.